It's four past the hour. I'm Leah Harding in Gainesville. According to Gainesville High School officials, two of their students are no longer attending GHS after an offensive video went viral. The two girls made two videos, one of which was in response to comments they received. University of Florida professor Clay Colvert says the First Amendment protects the rights of these girls since no one was directly threatened. The First Amendment shields a lot of speech uh, that people don't like, and this is one of those cases in a society like ours where we have to tolerate offensive expression that is obviously, and this is the irony, intolerant of others. Today, there were additional Gainesville Police Department officers on campus to ensure the safety of the student body. A life-saving drug is in short supply after the laboratory was shut down last November by the FDA. Florida's 89.1 WUFTFM's Michael Cadigan reports how this shortage isn't affecting North Central Florida. A drug used to treat cancer is reported to be in short supply. Methotrexate is a life-saving drug used to prevent the spread of leukemia cells. University of Florida Associate Professor of Medicine Dr. Christopher Cogle says he does not expect there to be any shortages of the drug at chance. Based on our average use of methotrexate, we have an ample supply of the drug for the children and adults that need this chemotherapy. Cogle says UF and Chance is expecting a shipment of the drug at the end of the month or the beginning of March. For Florida's 89.1 WUFT-FM, I'm Michael Cadigan reporting. The city of Gainesville is hosting the dedication of the Clarence R. Kelly Community Center and Park tomorrow. Kelly was the leader of the city's Northeast Community Center and while there he fostered three generations of children. Tomorrow's event will include the dedication by Mayor Craig Lowe and will be held on Northeast 8th Avenue at 2 p.m. With Florida's 89.1, I'm Leah Harding in Gainesville.